Alright, good morning. So today I have an exam and if you didn't know, I'm actually studying online. So my exam is online as well, which is really nice. I don't have to like go anywhere. Like, I can literally be in my sweatpants. But yeah, I thought I would film my morning routine for my exam days. I mean, they can look like my usual mornings, but I like to add some like extra steps. So we're gonna start right now with some stretching. Just to, like make myself feel more awake because I always feel so tired in the morning but two things that really helps is one going out for a walk and two doing some stretching or a light workout are you also stretching <laughs> yeah good job <laughs> always hydrate in the morning but i feel like especially on exam days it's so easy to dehydrate because you're like stressed out forgetting to drink some water so i just filled up my stanley and i'm just gonna have it next to me this morning So pretty much right now, I just have to log into our Zoom link and then my exam doesn't start until... That's my boyfriend on the phone. I'm muted so he doesn't know I'm talking. My actual exam doesn't start until 45 minutes. Oh my god, everything is starting to go wrong. First, I can't join in this Zoom meeting because I was logged out of Zoom and for some reason I couldn't log back in. So I was like five minutes late. So then while I was trying to fix that, I was frying an egg and it got like burned. So now I have to eat a freaking burnt egg. Then I was just so stupid. I put this down on the hot stove and I like melted some plastic. This morning started out so calm, but I guess this is the reality. All right, so this ended up being the breakfast, just a cheese sandwich and a cheese and egg sandwich uh, with a very fried egg. I might just make it into a double sandwich. Okay, and I'm also gonna look through my notes. Good morning, it's a few days later and I'm currently getting ready to have an early morning study session. Honestly, right now I'm just trying to romanticize studying because my exam went so bad. I don't want to talk about it. So yeah, I'm like trying to step up studying now. And I usually feel the most motivated to actually sit down and study in the morning. So before I even do anything else, I'm just gonna get some breakfast and set up my cute little study space. I'm trying to really romanticize studying and do like a pink study setup. Alright, 
so usually I always take notes on my MacBook or my iPad. Digital notes, I never like ever take handwritten notes on a physical paper but i thought i would try to do that today just to, like see if it makes any difference in how much i actually remember of my notes <laughs> It's the next day. It's currently 2.30. I've just been feeling so tired all day. I'm ready to go to bed already. I might actually take a nap later, but I have some studying and tasks to finish before I can take a nap. I've already been in a few like phone calls this morning for the apartment. If you haven't watched the video, I'm currently in the process of buying an apartment, which is super exciting. There's like a lot of tasks to do regarding that process. And then I'm gonna try to watch lecture one and two for my macroeconomics course. I already watched half of the first lecture yesterday, so I only have like one and a half left. And then I'm gonna try to get some editing done. And then I have a meeting tonight. And I'm also currently doing some laundry that I need to go and pick up and fold. So yeah, let's start with that. It's now 7 p.m. I've just been studying for so long and then I wasn't been editing. Um, so now I always feel bad when like having really long work sessions that I haven't been playing with Molly. So I'm just having a little playtime with her. I'm also gonna try to have some dinner before my meeting. And I think I have some meal prepped taco pie. This is such a lifesaver. When you have a busy day, you really don't feel like cooking at night. So I'm really thankful I meal prepped a few days ago. All right, I am ready for my meeting. Thursday and we just got a bunch of new notebooks yesterday because I realized it's actually a lot more fun taking handwritten notes like like if you're not used to it your wrist kind of hurts after a while and I haven't taken handwritten notes for I don't even remember like years it's but I think studying is so much more fun when actually writing on a piece of paper I mean the iPad kind of also works but there's just something about writing on a piece of paper I'm actually starting to get obsessed with that is i actually got the checkered ones i don't know i'm trying to like write a really small text i feel like it's easier when you have the little checkers rather than the lines so yeah i just woke up at like 6 a.m today I, I went to bed yesterday at like 9 which is super good so even though i woke up early i got lots of sleep but yeah so i'm gonna get right into studying
All right, so I just did a little bit of hair care. I actually trimmed my hair a little bit and now I feel like my hair is so much more healthy. Just getting rid of some split ends, but I'm gonna do some makeup just because I feel super pale. And then I gotta figure out what to have for lunch because I really haven't planned anything. Since I used my meal prep for dinner yesterday, I don't have any meal prep. I was just out with the dogs. Like all I did since our last walk was make lunch and clean up a little bit, but my boyfriend just left for work. And now this puppy we're taking care of today, he's like crying because he saw my boyfriend leave for work and he wanted to come with him. Yeah, I guess I'm going on a second walk with them, but I mean, I don't mind at all. It's super sunny today and it's actually getting very hot because I can finally start wearing other jackets than my puffer jacket. So right now I'm wearing this like teddy jacket. Alright, so we just got back from our walk and the puppies are curly napping. Uh, Molly's napping here on me as usual and the other puppies right next to us. I feel like I want to start eating healthier. Not that I'm eating junk food a lot, like I'm definitely eating homemade meals. But for the last few weeks, I feel like... I've had so much pasta, so much bread, and not enough veggies. So I just created a note where I'm gonna put down a bunch of groceries for like healthy foods I wanna get, and then also plan my meals for next week. So I'm just gonna take some time right now to write that. <laughs> All right, so I actually got a pretty good list of some lunches and then dinners for healthy recipes. I took all of them from this website called Delish. Um, they actually had really, really good and healthy but still easy recipe ideas. So now I'm just going to go through each recipe and see what ingredients I'm going to need and then put that down in my grocery list. So then I'm like already and prepped for when I go grocery shopping this weekend. And I'd never have to wonder what I'm gonna have for lunch and dinner next week. Yeah, okay guys, so I have a little treat for Molly. I'm gonna go hide it somewhere. And she's like, she's so good at finding it. Even if I think I'm hiding it really well, like she always finds it in like two seconds. So let's see if, <laughs> yeah, she can find it as fast this time as well. So I'm just closing the bedroom door and then i'm gonna hide it somewhere here in the bedroom let's put it like behind the curtain so she can't actually see it she knows <laughs> oh my god good job she found it in literally three seconds oh she's scared of the curtain <laughs> good job yay 